What's going on, everyone? ChristianPickDogs.com here with your free pick in the SMU versus Western Illinois college basketball matchup going down Wednesday, November 8th, 2023. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games I love the most, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between SMU and Western Illinois. And uh, SMU starting the year with an 82-63 win over subdivision Southwest, excuse, Southwestern Assemblies of God. Um, help me find them on a map. That's all I'm saying. Um, on the other side, you had Western Illinois take a 78-68 loss to UTSA in their last matchup. And, you know, this was an SMU team that last year, they, they weren't good. You know, they were 10-22, and 5-13 in conference play. They lost a pair of double-digit scores, and, and that flat-out stunk for them. But now this looks like a different SMU team, an SMU team that's sort of back to what we're used to seeing from SMU, like run and gun, fast pace up and down the floor, and a lot of talented players. They've got three players on their team that scored double digits in last year, wherever they were playing. You know, Jerk Phelps is the only one coming back. He had 17.5 points per game. Chuck Harris had 10.4 per game for Butler. Um, Jaheim Hudson had 10.1 for uh, Georgia State. So... This is still a what's going to be, I think, a talented um, SMU team. It's an SMU team that, you know, has a tendency of beating up on sort of the lesser opponents that they face. I mean, like I said, it is a bit of a different team, but look at what SMU did last year against some of the lesser teams they played. They beat uh, Texas A&M Commerce by 17. Um, you know, they, they held Evansville to 47 points. They beat Lamar by 25. So... SMU fully capable of beating up on teams. Western Illinois, this is not a, a good Western Illinois team to begin with. And I, I just don't have high hopes for the Leathernecks this season. You know, um, this is a team that just lost a ton of talent. And then when you look at what Western Illinois did in their step-up games last year, it, the number, a lot of the numbers weren't good. Um, you know, they beat Illinois State in the opener. That's great, but they, they lost 70-37 at UCF. They gave up 86 points to DePaul. So... I just I don't have don't have faith in Western Illinois in this game to be able to keep this game close. I think SMU just pulls away. I think they win this one by 19 or 20. Not a game of rushing to the window to bet because I'm still just not full, fully there with SMU where I say, yep, this is one of my teams. This is one of the teams I'm ready to go with. Um, but early early suggestions could be this this SMU team could be really good. Um, but I got to see more than a game against Southwestern Assemblies of God than. Uh, then I can really sort of make a, a confident judgment here. So I'll lean towards SMU minus the 16 and a half in this one. That's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. Why are your Pick Dogs? Check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're on our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.